to the curtain raiser of the exhibition, Ace H. Raza, 1922 to 2016, which will be held at the Centre Pompidou from 15th February to 15th of May 2023. Thank you very much for joining us on this happy occasion. I would like to invite His Excellency, Mr. Emmanuel Luna, the Ambassador of France to India, to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, you have to get closer or I come closer. We can do, we can do both. Uh, let's stop the speech before everybody gets cold. And the, uh, it's, it's really a pleasure to have all of you tonight. I mean, the, uh, we have a great, great, outstanding project coming after a long work. And thanks to the, uh, the, the collaboration uh, with the uh, Raza Foundation, and uh, I really thank uh, Ashok Bashpai and all his team. It has needed a lot of uh, dedication, inspiration. He is a poet, so it, uh, it helps. And understanding of the work of, of Raza. And thank you very much, and thank you also to the team of uh, Pompidou. They are not with us tonight, but we're going to have a message from Laurent Lebon with the, the new president of uh, Centre Pompidou. Uh, he, he took office in uh, August 2021, and I think he, he, he will be a great uh, person to also to lead the project from France, because in his former capacity, he was the, the president of uh, Musée Picasso, a uh, great museum that many of you know, so it's going to be really outstanding. Happy that you, you will enjoy tonight a few uh, work of uh, Raza on, uh, on the screen. And also I see that the, uh, my, my office looks very empty because they took all the, all the painting from my office and they, they are on display there. So enjoy tonight. Uh, I get them back tomorrow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, delight, delighted to, uh, uh, that this event takes place. I mean, Raza, as you know, is a great artist that we share, both India and France. Obviously, he's uh, totally Indian, was born in, and trained in, in Mumbai, actually, but he spent uh, more or less, uh, what, 60 years of his life between the time he entered Ecole des Beaux-Arts in 1950 and uh, the time he came definitely back to India in 2010, I guess, around. He, he spent a lot of his life in Paris, but also in a wonderful place in the south of France called Gorbio, where he had his studio. And the, uh, we feel that he's very, very French also, and we very much value his work. We think is a source of inspiration for uh, what young artists can do when they go abroad to study. And uh, that's why we're delighted to have uh, uh, many young aspiring artists, I guess, or future painters, curators, maybe, or whatever. And uh, we wish them to go to France. Um, we'll help them. Actually, uh, Raza got a scholarship in 1950, and I think uh, given uh, the work you produced, I think it's a great incentive to put on the table more and more scholarships for young and future artists. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. I mean, every year we, uh, uh, the French government uh, grants over a, a million euro of scholarships to a student from India and we will do more and more in the coming years because we, we want more and more students from India. I think it's a, it's a great asset, it's a very dynamic, hardworking and a great inspiration also for our students. We really enjoy working with them. So you're very welcome. And this year we, we were around 6,000, we want to be somewhere around 20,000 in three, four years from now, and we will do it. Obviously, many of your fellow students uh, go to France to study business. That's true. Some to be engineers, but we want more and more art and uh, creativity, and because we, we feel that's uh, also uh, what's the DNA of our two countries and something we have very strongly in common. So you're very welcome. And uh, then 
we will also provide some artist residency in both countries and that's something really we, we are developing and uh, I think in the future you will see more and more opportunities so uh, keep on and uh, apply and go to France now I'm not going to dwell on the exhibition itself you will see it's going to be a magnificent exhibition uh, more than 100 major paintings from Raza coming from the best collection and thank you to uh, uh, the institution the private uh, uh, lenders I mean it's uh, it's been an amazing job to, to gather and you will have also a great catalog I think tonight we're raising the second part because it's going to be very very thick it's an extraordinary work of scholarship and so thank you for all this also thank you to the foundation thank you for what you've been doing you have it here okay oh you want to release it now okay <laughs> shall we open it yeah open it okay you open it it's heavy <laughs> oh. Coming in. Uh, come, come. Take this away. Great. Thank you for this. Uh, Ashok, would you mind saying a few words? Thank you. I'm a talkative person anyway. <laughs> Your Excellency and friends, for me personally, having known Raza very closely for 40 years, and for the Raza Foundation, which he created for promotion of younger generations, it's a great moment. We started the process in 2017, one year, almost one year after he died, and a proposal was made by us with great support from the French Embassy. This exhibition is taking place with the great support that we got from the French Embassy. All the issues and problems and, you know, this is not a simple matter, collecting works, hundred works, this, that and the other. The French Embassy have stood by us, have helped us sort out all the problems. So we are personally very grateful and to the Ambassador, ever since he came, he has been keeping a keen eye on the progress of the project. So we are very grateful. The exhibition is historic in the sense that this is the largest ever exhibition of Raza held during his artistic career. That it is being held posthumously uh, is of course a fact, but it is taking place in one of the great museums of the world. We have some of the collectors, uh, some very important uh, collectors have given their works, including uh, Piramal Museum, Kirandada Museum of Arts, uh, Jahagin Nikalsun Arts Foundation, JJ School of Art, and private collectors. This catalog resume which the ambassador has re released is the second volume of the catalog resume. And the third volume is in preparation, and we are hoping that it will be available at the time of the opening of this Raza show in Centre de Pompidou. We had also made a proposal to the National Gallery of Modern Art and nothing came of it. So here is an irony of a situation that a great museum in Paris is holding in Raza's 100th year a major show here, Kiran Nada Museum, 
under the excellent curatorship of Rubina Karode and uh, Jahangir Nicholson um, Foundation in Prince of Wales, Bombay, uh, did two major shows of Raza. We in the Raza Foundation have been celebrating his 100th year in a slightly different way. Rather than celebrating him all the time ourselves, we have been celebrating the younger artists. So we had an exhibition called Yuva Sambha, which featured 100 young artists selected from all over the country. And the exhibitions were held simultaneously in five galleries of Delhi. We then picked up 20 young tribal artists of India and again their exhibition was held here. Thirdly, we picked up Gaur Pradhan artists which have emerged as a powerful tribal group of artists and I had a show in I, India International Centre as part of the India uh, International Centre experience and also in Mandla where Raza is buried. So there is a series of events that we have been doing and this of course is going to be the pinnacle of it all when the exhibition opens. Uh, we are very grateful to the collectors, to other people and any one of you who would be there at that time, the exhibition will last for three months starting 14th of February to 15th of May. So any one of you who is there. Let me briefly recall what, how Raza rose to what he rose up to. He was born in one of the ten hutments that constituted a forest village in deep jungles of central India close to the river Narmada. Narmada traditionally and classically is supposed to be Ubhaya Tata Tirtha. It's a sacred river, but it is a sacred river on which you have holy places on both the banks. Unlike the other greater uh, sacred rivers which have uh, uh, sort of holy places only on one side. So it is, she was called and she is utilized as Ubhaya Tata Tirtha. Raza himself became an Ubhaya Tata Tirtha. India and France, modernity and tradition, Hindi and French. I mean, there are several such things which can be cited, which make him the kind of person he was. A noble person, a generous person, someone who cared for the young. And therefore, we in the Raza Foundation are very, very grateful to the ambassador, to the embassy officials who have been helping us and we'll continue to get their help. And I'm also grateful to the ambassador that he will be personally present at the opening. Of course. <laughs> and this is a project which has meant a lot to us personally. We have been pursuing it relentlessly, ups and downs. It was to be held last June but because of COVID it had to be, last June, mean last year June, it had to be postponed. But all said and done, ladies and gentlemen and Mr. Ambassador, we are grateful and we rejoice in the great artistic achievement of a master who, wherever he is, would be happy to know that we are all here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you very much, Mr. Vajpayee. Our partners from the Centre Pompidou in Paris unfortunately couldn't be here with us, but the director, Mr. Laurent Lebon, has sent us a message, which we will all watch now. Dear everyone, Monsieur l'Ambassadeur, it's a great pleasure to greet you, everyone, for this fantastic event, the first retrospective of Sayed Haider Raza, in our country. The Saint Pompidou is so happy to welcome this wonderful event. As you know, Sayed Haider Raza has many relationships with our country. And the first retrospective 
of this genius is a really an event and we are very happy to welcome this fantastic event in our institution. Sayed Haider Raza has a very strong influence from our country and finally this show is a really magnificent example of the wonderful relationship between our two countries, France and India. And I would like uh, to take this opportunity to thank, of course, the Raza Foundation and especially Ashok Vajpayee and Sanjeev Shukpe for their wonderful support. But as I said, it's an adventure of two countries and I would like also to thank very sincerely Monsieur l'Ambassadeur, Emmanuel Lenin and all the team of l'Institut Français. Emmanuel Lebrun, Pruta Narque, Amandine Bruchman and their predecessors, Bertrand de Harting, Alice Bruno. For this kind of show, of course, we know that we need many lenders and I would like to thank them also very much. I'm looking more forward to welcome you to the Saint Pompidou to discover this event very soon and I would like once again to say one word, merci. In the window in front of you, please not hesitate to have a look and enjoy your evening. Thank you very much.